There are mixed feelings about Zelda Breath of the Wild's durability mechanic. Some people love the challenge this adds to the game, others find it to be extremely annoying. You spend all that time farming Lynels and raiding Hyrule Castle to get the best stuff, then almost immediately hold a funeral for that weapon when it gets thanos Goodbye, Ancient Axe Plus Plus, we will never forget you. Because of this, modders found a way to make it so no weapons break at all. You can get pretty OP pretty quick with this mod. But what happens if we adjust that mod so everything breaks after just one use? We need to find ways to get really strong weapons and increase our weapon and shield stashes so we can do enough damage to Ganon to beat the game. Harder yet, we would need to find ways to kill enemies that have strong weapons while keeping the ones we have. Then, lastly, we would need to cross our fingers and hope that the light bow at the end of the game doesn't have a durability modifier, otherwise all this was for nothing. So here are the requirements for the challenge. First of all, we need to turn on the zero durability mod. Then watch as every weapon we love explodes into a million pieces. We need to beat Calamity Ganon. We need to leverage game mechanics to minimize weapon loss. And then hate our lives because this is really, really hard to do. Why do I do this to myself? Time to get into this run, so sit back, grab some popcorn, and follow along as we attempt to beat Breath of the Wild, even though everything breaks instantly. But first, I need help coming up with a catchy name for this challenge. I'd love to see your ideas in the comments. Here are a couple I've had so far. The Glass Challenge. The Legend of Zelda, Break of the Wild. The Ikea Challenge. Get it? Because everything breaks? <laughs> One last thing, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps our channel out a ton, and you'll be more likely to see our videos in your feed. Here it is, The Basement Presents, Beating Breath of the Wild even though everything breaks instantly. I'm excited about this playthrough. It's gonna be a challenge. I have a couple strategies already, and if you guys have any ideas for me, put them in the chat because I wanna know how we can actually pull this off. I was thinking about um, high damage weapons are gonna be really important, but they're gonna break after one hit, so we're gonna need those. Now, uh, there are certain things that are going to help us a lot. One of them being that shields, when you do a perfect reflect, doesn't use up any durability. So we're gonna have to use that. Uh, probably once we eventually get to Ganon, that's probably going to be our main mode of damaging. I do think we're going to um, actually take on the Divine Beasts because trying to fight everything in a boss rush gauntlet I don't think is going to work with one hit only. We're going to need a lot of weapon slots. We're going to need to bring in a lot of really great weapons into Ganon. We're going to have to uh, do our best. But it's going to be interesting, to say the least. Yeah, when we get a, when we get uh, some of our... Oh! <laughs> Oh, I took away half his health. Arrows. Gonna get a bow. Pretty sure this will this will happen to bows too. Should we test it out? Should we make sure that it happens to bows? Yep. <laughs> All right. So now we know, bows break instantly too. Whew. Okay, I'm not gonna use this. I'm just gonna get out of the way. Yes. Haha. <laughs> Free weapons. Didn't even cost me a weapon to get that weapon. I'm gonna do my impression of Link for the next five minutes. <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. Bombs, huge get. Huge get for this type of uh, playthrough. And, I mean, I think Master Sword is maybe a good idea. Because, I mean, it's a weapon that will never leave my inventory. There we go. All right, now we got Magnesis. So we are in a good position. We're not going to be able to do any stasis launches because as soon as we hit something, it'll break. We can do some a little bit of stasis launching with bombs, but it's going to make way more sense to just use the bombs to do the launches. Give me all your stuff. Don't mind me. I'm just a rock moving toward you. 
take that bow. Oh, they see me now. How do you like me now? <laughs> ding, ding. Got him. Do weapons break when you're on a Lionel's back? So when you're on a Lionel's back, uh, no weapon durability takes place there. So it should be safe to do back attacks on a Lionel. <laughs> Didn't know that would work. I did find you. Uh, Korok Leafs. Oh, see, I, I need your guys' strategy. Korok leaves don't break when you shoot wind, and that could be really helpful for knocking dudes off cliffs. In fact, that's one of the best ways to clear enemies off of the Great Plateau. Uh, I don't want to read the diary. I want to take his peppers. There. Ugh. Nailed it. Speed running. See, I didn't use up any weapon durability or anything to get past the shrine. That was the point of that. Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the 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 pineapple. See ya. Lisa finished her work that she lost her work time on. So everybody congratulate Lisa in the chat. Uh, hey Ted, is song a request or a random song? Um, the way I've done it is if it's a request, all right, guys, we got to play our paraglider <laughs> two hours later, but we did it. We can get off the plateau. We're going straight to Death Mountain, folks. And I think we're going to do this with no, with no Majora's Mask. Yeah, yeah. What's up? <laughs> oh, I scared you right off your, right off your feet, Mr. Mr. Beetle. Drop your thing. Oh, no. But the thing is that ice rod, it's not going to wear out on durability. This is worth it. This is worth the fight. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you drop it yet? I got him. Dude, dude. No, <laughs> it does wear out. Wait, we didn't need bugs. We needed monster parts. I've got monster parts. We can make a fireproof elixir and uh, take it into the, into the heat. Let's see, what's the best? Like multiple key swings or maybe some bokoblin horns or fangs. I feel like horns are better. Let's see how well this does. Four minutes? <clears throat> I'll take it. We'll drink it when we need it in just a minute here. Dude, we saved we saved some money by uh not buying those fireproof potions. We have so many lizards. And four minutes is plenty of time to get to Doron City. But the real question is going to be, do we have enough money? Do we have enough money to uh, <clears throat> buy the fireproof armor stuff? So many lizards. We might even be able to just keep downing potions. No, 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 no. The, the most expensive thing, I think, is 1200 I think it's like 800, 800, 1200. So what would that be? 2800 or something like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Rocks. I'm alerting everybody to my presence. So uh, for those of you just joining us, this is Naomi. This is my daughter, Naomi. She likes to make cameo appearances every once in a while, especially in our morning streams. S -s 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 Stamina. And she's learning how to read. She's five years old. Learning how to read. Ella Grace insists that all S words begin with a C. Oh, that makes sense, right? Because C is the first sound in C, but it's true. Is it just me or are they easier to catch than like party lizards? Like they don't seem to mind me just walking up and grabbing them either. Ooh, an opal. Only iPhones and still not even all of those. All right, we're going to go in there. Magnesis blazing.
Ooh, check out this. No. We're just gonna steal their chests. Get all those good weapons. Ooh, my sword. Got a cobble crusher. This is it. Don't get dead now. So Topaz. Okay, so far this has been worth it. I could get a sneak strike on this guy. It would give me a better bow, but I would lose my weapon. Never mind! What the? Volcanoes do hurt. They're the actually the most painful of all mountainous structures. Okay, cool. Oh, toss a coin to your witcher. I haven't played it since I played it last time. <clears throat> Um, since I played it on the last stream, but I could definitely uh, take a moment and play it again. Every time I play it once, it would definitely be good practice. I haven't played it since I played it last time. <laughs> I mean, I haven't, like, last time I streamed uh, and played that. Like, you guys saw the last time I played it, if you were here. Cool. I'll, I'll, yeah, let's, we'll, we'll do some more, uh, toss a coin to your witcher again today. Hey, that was worth it. 50 rupees. So that's why you break all the pots. That's why you destroy everybody's heirlooms. Okay. We got to sell stuff to this guy though first before we can do anything. I want to sell. What do you want to sell? These are worth 210 a pop. Yes, please. Um, we'll sell all of our ambers. Ooh. See, we're doing pretty good. Um, let's organize and sell our opals. Ah. And our topaz. Ooh. There, that should be enough to buy two of the items, right? Aww. 700 for pants. Aww. 600... So that's a total of 1300 We're a little bit short, but the hat is the most expensive. Yeah. So we need 1300 Okay, we just got to sell a few more things. I'm a believer in sweat equity, but not all the time. It doesn't always make the most sense to mow your own lawn. Sometimes it makes sense to pay somebody else to do it. All right, time for Shea Moza Shrine. Is there another way? I know that this will... Okay, we could just do a bomb to this. To get this down. And maybe like a normal arrow will actually be on fire. Yes! Haha, <laughs> I don't have to use any weapon durability to light fires as long as I can reach them. 28% versus 15% now for the uh, literally anything except. Oh, Kestrine! You are so smart. We are definitely going to use uh, the... We got to get a Thunder Blade and a Flame Blade. Because Lightning Trap, that is going to be the answer. We can, we can actually beat... Uh, Major test the strength that way. Oh my gosh, the lightning trap! The lightning trap! I have friends who got through high school like that. Just kidding. Yeah, I'm excited. That was super fun. Yeah, it doesn't work with blights. I know that. It's like human fall flat. All ragdoll physics, but lots of silly things you can tackle in delivery missions. That sounds fun to me. Um... That was so stupid. <laughs> Let's try this again, why not? Oh, I'm gonna talk to you. It's okay, I'm friends of the boss. I'm saving Yonobo. You know, bro. Take that guy out. Let's try this again, with skills this time. Hey buddies, eat rocks. <laughs> they drop their stuff too, so we get free weapons up here doing this. This will actually be uh, 
a smart thing for us to do in the future. Because these bows are pretty decent. And I don't use need to use any weapon durability. So every time there's a Blood Moon, we can come here, clear this area, and grab a bunch of bows. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good catch, Link. <laughs> the rock salt. Boom, right out of the air. Okay, they want us to go up in the air and do, like, shooty shoots at these guys. But that'll use up a bow, so I don't want to do that. Unless we have full bows. Let's do that. Let's do some shooty shoots. Uh, no bomb arrows, though, because they'll explode instantly. Oh, you can't see me from there. All right, well, we definitely loaded up on stuff in that area, so that's good. Princess Zelda is fighting Calamity Cannon. You're the only one who can save her. All right, so now we have to retrieve... We got to go to Hateno. Locked mementos. Let's go there. Let's do that. Oh, see you later, Paya. Take care. Yeah, that song does have a really good... It's a, it's a bop, for sure. Hey, do we have enough orbs to turn one in? I think we might. We do! Uh, let's get a stamina missile. Normal arrow, don't fire it. Uh, I think the normal arrows... Oh, no, they do light up blue. I think they go out. After a certain amount of time. Yeah, they do. Yeah, look, it's the statue you guys can never find. <laughs> You're totally right, Laura. But I know where it is now, so I can find it. Because I have durability problems. I think the fire on the arrows go out over time. We could try to carry it for too long like this. Yep. Just go up the steps. <laughs> I think everybody screamed that at us at one time or another. Yeah, it is a random place. It's not like... Is it the inn? It seems like it's just a random house. It is. It's somebody's house. There's nothing important that happens here other than sometimes the uh, creepy, creepy moblin sits up here. Oh, yeah, I remember. And goes, hey, 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 I'm watching you sleep. Okay, let's see if this works. Yes. Even with durability turned all the way down, we can still at least use torches. Thank goodness. Okay, IT is down with my computer, and I finished my French toast. Going to lurk. Nice. French toast sounds like a really good idea for breakfast this morning. Maybe I'll make some French toast for myself. That's not the sun. That's the moon. Now, I don't think I have enough guardian ingredients to be able to do any of this stuff. Oh, Naomi, are you wearing the other one? Come show everybody. <laughs> Dude, she just became the new pro wrestler. Guardians, honestly, might be one of the easier things to kill. Because we can just deflect lasers with shields. Oh, there he is. Without using up weapon durabilities. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hey, thanks for How the you follow. doing? Come on, buddy. I want your guts. I want your robot guts. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. When you got no weapon durability, because everything breaks, don't use up your weapons on a guardian. That will not work. First choo-choo jelly of the playthrough, guys. First choo-choo jelly. And we got a giant ancient core out of that. You're mine. In my opinion, these are kind of the easiest ones to deflect, because the timing is always the same. The timing of the sounds is always the same. There we go. 
Pappy, thank you so much for contributing to the community challenge. Uh, no giant ancient core this time. But we did get an ancient shaft. We need those. Perhaps the best way is just to climb up and drop a bomb down. Let's do that. Oh, there's a Korok up here too, I bet. Kyla, thank you for contributing to the community challenge. <laughs> Love dropping rocks on their head. Got it. Oh, I'm glad we came in here. Get some nice monies. Gotta take this stuff out here before we... There we go, knock that bokoblin off of his horse. Get off your high horse! <laughs> Dude, that was skill right there. Taking that guy out, <clears throat> taking that Bokoblin out with bombs in between. dodge arrows at the same time oh shoot oh see the bokoblin shot an arrow at me hit my shield broke my shield and then I couldn't use it to, to reflect the guardian's laser and even so you couldn't save the horsey <laughs> ah get off the horse Whoa. Oh, I was too early. There you go. He's gone. You destroyed. <laughs> then is a filled donut basically a pie without a pan? I want to take you out. Stop circling me. It's hard to hit you with my bombs. And I don't want to use up a bow on you. Yep. See you later. <laughs> wow, that got him good. And now he's dead. What are you going to give me? Are you going to drop any arrows or anything good? Oh, fangs. Hey, Naomi, say, look at all those chickens. Say that. No, chickens. just say it with your, sorry, say it with your normal voice. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. <laughs> the delivery's all wrong, Naomi. <laughs> ancient materials. Now then, in exchange for those ancient materials, I'll power up a rune. I'm game. Which rune do you want to power up? Robobom, you'll need three ancient shafts. Yes, I have those. Epic snap. Here I go. Hey yo, got it. Okay. Have you guys noticed these lines drawn in the room? This is Pura's side. This is Simon's side. I just think it's so funny that her side has, like, gotten bigger. <laughs> she has this older line, and then she encroached, so there's a new line. So she encroached. <laughs> now there's the the new line. I think these are pro propeller blades from uh, Flying Guardian, I'm pretty sure. Some random Guardian parts. All right, we got our bombs plus. We don't have stasis plus, but yeah, we don't need that. See, look, our weapons are pretty good, but we can only do the amount of damage that's represented on this screen with it. 
bomb's supposed to be helpful when we get to Fireblade. Hey, you! Yeah, you. Thanks, Thanks for subscribing. And us to... Ow! Really? That hurt, dude. Now, I know these guys are defeatable with bombs, because I've done it. But it's annoying. Although I will say it's it is helpful to have plus for sure. Doing more damage per bomb is really nice. It's funny that it's called guilt ferds too. I wonder if people feel guilty eating there. They're like, I really shouldn't be here, but. I can't help myself. I just got to have that double chocolate chunk with salted caramel ribbons. Take that, you dumb lizard. He actually looks like one of those walking, uh, one of those like dog versions of the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Season two and season three. Oh. Well, luckily we got this. Ouch! Oh, I'm dealing damage to myself, though. That's right, you better run. If you can. Crush you! <laughs> we gotta be strategic. We gotta use the environment. That's the whole trick of this run with the challenge of no durability with weapons. I, I don't want to knock him in the lava because I want his stuff. I want his ingredients. If I keep a certain distance. There we go. And... Shoot. There's no way around it. You can't bomb these guys, right? Oh, good, you can. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. We're actually going to want that torch. Sorry, drill shaft, you got to go. Take that. Home slice. Yeah, I thought we were all clever with the whole like using a magnesis weapon to hurt enemies. I think you could do that. Like if you can catch the boomerang while it's spinning, you can hurt enemies with that. But that's pretty, that's hard to do. I tried to, I tried to do that for like a half hour one day with Peter and I couldn't get it to work one time. That hole. So back up just a little bit. Then it should be close enough to the eyeball when I blow it up. Yeah! Nailed it! Now, if I just climb onto here, onto here, when I turn the divine beast onto its side, I will be right by the terminal. Is this gonna break when I throw it? Oh shoot, it did. Uh-oh. We might need a bow and a flame arrow for this. I think, yeah, we have to do that. Wait, a bomb would've worked? No, a bomb wouldn't work on that. You have to burn, you have to burn the wood. A bomb would have worked on that? <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Well, there are two aren't all arrows here flame arrows? Um, not inside. See? 
On the inside, you don't burn. I could actually not be wearing the Flame Breaker suit if I didn't want to. But we used, we threw our torch. And this Boko, because, oh shoot. Oh no. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it before the fire goes out? Yes! That'll work instead of a torch. So yeah, I mean, using a flame arrow isn't so bad, but the problem is that it breaks a bow every time we shoot an arrow. So we've got to make good use of those. It all panned out. So when you do a vote, a low sample size is not good for getting accurate results. Why did the arrow, why did that bomb come back at me? Did it bounce off his head? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Well, you're also too close. You're too close. Back up. I'm just kidding. Yeah, let's try this again. He's still taking this much damage with this with this uh, part with this phase. I'm really surprised by that. Yeah, this is why I went to this guy first because I knew that I could beat him without using any weapons. And then, yeah, Druk's protection basically gives us three. Right, so three shields. But I could upload um, unedited versions of these streams to some poor devoted soul. <gasps> oh no. Come on back, dude. Uh, to count how many bombs this whole run took. Because <laughs> it would be awesome to have like an actual final number. Oh, poor guy. Practice with bombs and trial of the sword helps a lot. Yeah, I've, I've done a lot of bomb cheesing in this game i'm very used to using bombs for stuff so i think i've got an upper hand in this challenge watch this naomi That worked much better that time. Yeah! Oops, the Korok totally hit that button. <laughs> Almost! But no, that's not gonna work. Let's just do this the way it was intended. We're gonna use a couple bows up though in the process, I think. Okay, we got that, and we're gonna need to equip a new bow. That should knock the ball off of its pedestal. Come on. Really? That didn't move the ball enough? Okay, that should definitely do it. There we go, now it's going, okay. We just lost three bows. Great job. This could go very poorly, so we'll find out. Uh, yes, Master Koga of the Yiga Clan is gonna kill you all to death. The strong, the burly, the one, the only. Master Koga, now prepare yourself. All right, uh, bomb, bomb will work for this? Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, that's really helpful. We don't have to use uh, arrows. Haha, <laughs> take another bomb to the face, bro. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drop you down the Koga hole. If you keep doing the same attacks, I'll punish you for it, Koga. Okay, he's down a third, which means he changes up his attack patterns. Do I actually have to hit him with a weapon for this to count?
There we go. That'll work. All right, this is the one that might be hardest. Yeah, we'll just do this. Oh shoot, but I, ow! Oh no. I used up a bow for no reason. Okay, that'll work if I can land it. Oh, the timing is harder too. Okay, this is hard. There we go. Boom! Ow. Perfect. All right, now it's Magnesis time. Dude, we did we did Koga with no weapons, just bombs. See ya. Yeah, no weapons. I mean, I broke one bow, but I didn't even do it right. <laughs> yeah, shield parries are gonna be essential for the blights. Honestly, the one I'm looking forward to the least is wind blight. Because I usually just spam arrows at him. So we'll see if the duplex bow allows me to just take out one foot with one shot. I think it will. Oh, I saw it, I saw it. Up ahead, in the distance. I saw a shimmering light. A star, a star, Did it do it? Yeah, that's right. No, I want to keep up the fight, please. I got it. <laughs> okay, we got two more bows left. <gasps> no, I wasted it. Oh no. Okay, now I have to use a bomb. This could be bad. I don't think that worked. Okay. So we have now upgraded. We have enough duplex bows now. If I don't miss in the Ivana Boris uh, bomb shooty quest, then it's more a question of can we beat Thunderblight without... Oh my gosh. That's going to be a challenge, dude. I'm just, I'm thinking about it. I think you can do some damage with bombs, but it'd take an awful long time. And like, you need to, like, you need to dispatch Thunderblight as fast as you can in order to survive. No! My duplex bow broke! Don't wander off. Here we go. You alright? Here we go. This is it. This is the one. This is the moment we do it. Got her! Bows, but we did it. <sighs> Thank you. I'll take your stuff. I think we're full on weapons. Uh, we can drop this torch. We don't need that. 
Cool, now we got an ancient spear. Nice! Oh, I dare you to shoot me again. Come on, buddy. Oops. Come on. Oh, that's how all my Daruk's protections are out now. Come on. Boom. He's gone. Oh, that battle axe is way better than this. I either need to use a bow to get this eyeball, or just time my bomb throw better. We're gonna do the timed bomb throw better. There we go. Three terminals remain. This is more of like an exploratory. We're gonna see if bombs damage him. If they do, that we might have to like do a lot of dodging and bombing. Um, also, we're running FPS plus, which could cause him to glitch and like go a million miles away. If any of you have seen that Mr. A game, a -game video where he's playing relics. Um, <laughs> got that right, Peter. Okay. Stay on your edge, Link. This formidable adversary was made by Gan and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. This one looks like really crazy and creepy. The other ones are just kind of like, I'm a big monster, but this one's all like, ah, I'm insane. This thing is fast. Watch your face. So if his if his shield is broken, we can hit him with an arrow and it knocks him out. In an illustrated book about birds. So it's kind of damaging his shield a little bit, but it's not hurting him though. Let's hit him with this. Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm damaging him, so that's good. Boomerang. The nice thing is I'm pretty sure we're getting... Oh no! My sword. Well, that's all my weapons. Okay, so now what can I do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you just, we can't hurt him enough. <laughs> Try the Korok leaf. <laughs> okay. It does help to have this. <laughs> Good to know that everything that we have, throwing every, literally everything at him, we can't get him. So let's load. And I mean, as long as we continue our dodgies, we should be okay, but we might need a Korok or two. Let's see if we can upgrade our chic armor. Enhance away! Enhance these pants! Mm. Yes. Ah. I liked the time travel plot in uh, Age of Calamity, Javier. I thought it was fun. Enhance away! Mm. Enhance this shirt. Mm. This chest guard. And the shield goes oof. We need more of these meals, these hearty meals. I mean, not taking damage isn't really the real problem with uh, with that battle. It's not dealing enough. And then I did get the camera from Pura. So now we can talk to Impa. She doesn't give us the shirt, though, until we see our first memory, I believe. Where is this Korok? Is it? I bet it's on top of Impa's house. I always got to be raining when I want to go up. Oh, you have memories that you have to remember. Oh, uh -huh. find one of those and I'll give you a free shirt. That shirt's nice. 
It would be good to have that shirt. Um, Plateau. Oman Al. We'll just fly out there real fast. Oh, hey, there, that's okay. There's a Korok over here that we want. Should we watch this memory or should we skip it, guys? Let me know in the chat. I want to know. Dana says skip. Watch. One vote skip, one vote watch. From here, we'll make our way to Goron City. Skip. Then, we'll need some adjustments on that skip. beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. Watch. He's figured out how to get it to move. We got... Ooh, we got... Okay, we got more watches than skips at this point. We're gonna... We're gonna watch it. Oh! An ancient voice? Resonates inside it. Can you hear Phi yet? That's interesting. That was a reference to Phi. <laughs> There's a cutscene, and then it zooms in on Link and... Just wearing a mask and looking like a doofus. I bet the Korok's on top of Impa's house. Let's put it on. Man, it's been so long since I've worn the champion's tunic. I'm almost like I'm always wearing some other outfit in this game. Okay, is there anything we can jump off of here to... Yeah, this this will work. Let's just launch up on top of her house. Right there. I was right by it several times. There we go. Yes, this is correct. And now we just watch you die, bro. This is a great way to get some gear leading up to uh, a blight fight. And I don't want to shoot bomb arrows at him because that'll ruin my bows. We can get like the highest powered weapons in the game like this more weapons and items equals faster damage oh yeah I suppose I've got a shield too I could drop in there it's doing 20 damage at a time it does look like he's inching toward me I'm gonna come back this way yeah it's like every once in a while he gets a couple frames where he's able to move a little bit so if you don't adjust, he eventually will, will fall off this thing, and then I've got to lure him back onto it again. <laughs> Great idea. Take a photo with a selfie. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Look at this. It's getting down there. He is kind of falling off of it, though. You see that? getting further away from it. Choo-choo jelly does work? I think I've got some. Oh! Yeah! Throw those choo-choo jellies in there! Now we just gotta be careful we don't zap ourselves picking this stuff back up. Good shield. Sword plus plus. Battle axe plus plus. Some yellow choo-choo jellies. Alright, what do we got? We're full on stuff. We got some items. That's gonna be helpful. Hey, a knight's halberd. Um, I do want to check with her and see what we need to be able to enhance this the blue the blue shirt. Yeah, I could probably change some settings on the Steam so it only tries to like auto download between like 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. or something. Good for you, Blue Mighty. And hello. Welcome. Okay, this needs silent princesses. A bunch of them. Actually, no, it's just this is, on, this is only one thing. But it, we are going to need to use up a couple bows to get Farash's horn. 
that's easy enough to get. We just have to get over there. We have to hit him right in the horn. Outfit we're going to go for is this. And uh, the trousers and the hood. So we need to kill lots of bokoblins. Where is the hood that I'm currently wearing? Oh, I'm not wearing it. There it is. Oh, it won't tell me what I need? Why won't it tell me what I need for this? Oh, because I, I already enhanced the hood one more time. Got it. Oh, <laughs> you have terrible aim. You know the trick with the dragons is they're so big, they look like they're closer than they are. Uh, so you have to aim... You have to aim higher than you would for any other arrow shot. So all I know is that you're just getting funny moments. No, that's not what I'm doing. This is... So we have a mod set up, Jose, where you break up things. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Funny moments is not uh, is usually not as funny if I'm just saying, ah, dang it, dang it. Maybe, maybe it's funny for you. Mm. Oh, dude, is the Thundara Plateau even going to be possible? I got to find ways to get those, those uh, ball bally balls up onto that plateau. Ooh. Hey, we need the parts for you guys. Oh no! Now it's raining? Oh! And lightning? Oh, this was dumb. This was bad decision. Oh, frustration. Mounting. <sighs> Anger. Rising. Anybody ever watch The Mystery Men? I loved that movie as a teenager. Come on, get up there. Okay, we're not gonna try to fly over there unless we're not jumping off a cliff in order to do it. The Divine Beasts should have given us a, a core item. I know what you mean. The Ocarina of Time systems, everything is super linear, so they're trying to make it more open world. So you could have an open world, right, where you start on the plateau, you get your paraglider, your base player paraglider, you get off the plateau. Each divine beast could have, honestly, it could have an item inside that helps you beat that divine beast, and then uh, gives you access to some places of the overworld that would be harder to get to, uh, or maybe even impossible, but not anything in the overworld that you have to get to. So there'd be like Koroks <laughs> hidden in places that you needed the hook shot to get. There would be, um, I would say that Nintendo would want to do like uh, a really important currency. I don't want to have to do that. Let's just climb. Let's see if we can do this with just climbing. Or if it's going to actually be blocked off by thorns. Q2 game? Oh, new to the game? No, I am not new to the game. So, uh, this? Yes. Yeah. I should be fine without needing to, te to to learn basic things. But yeah, this is this is a pretty fun challenge. It's definitely making us have to be creative. Nimix boy, thank you for contributing to the community challenge. Ooh, there's another Korok nearby. <laughs> High rule, more like rain rule. <laughs> All these metal weapons are like good to have. This one's got just a really good. We need that for Thunder Blight. I guess this one's the the worst one of the bunch. Just in case. Come on, lightning. Be prepared to ready to strike. There it is. Start. Get off this thing. Hey, and we got the sword back, too. Look at that. Well, that's not going to work. Now is it? Now we have to find a way up this stinking cliff. 
Because Link decided to dive rather than do a normal jump. Well, I could have done that without peppers. Oh! Hey, sweet, I found a way to get up this thing. Just gotta pull the axe out of the top of this thing. Because it's conducting lightning. Hey, good morning, Dio! Um, you can't carry any more weapons, eh? Mining through a vault is cheating. Oh, I see. So, so they, they have fun with it. Like, they have rules. You can't mine through a vault. You have to actually, like, whatever, get inside. Oh, no. Yeah, Ender Chest is the real vault. You keep all the things that you really want to keep safe inside of shulker, shulker chests inside of your end chest. Come on. Well Alright, one big hit. Let's switch to this weapon. <clears throat> Come on. We've been training for this moment. And boom. That's another hit. Alright. He's down halfway. Actually, why are we doing that? We should do this. This is going to hurt him. Oh, I got hit. What did I drop? What did I drop? Yeah, but where is he, though? There he is. Time for an arrow. Okay, but duplex bro broke because I missed. I don't like this name. <laughs> Alright. Eat another meal. We got this, guys. We got this. We still got time on our Ow! Okay. We're okay. We're still holding a, a weapon. Now. Okay. Shield bash. Did you can't? Okay. Did it. There it is. Okay, we're still holding our good weapon, so. Yes! Yes! Wait. Okay, good. Ha! Dude, durability zero. Took out Thunderblight Ganon. If that can be done, it's theoretically possible to take out Kalanth. Dude, I just I just beat Thunderblight Ganon with zero durability weapons. I did have to load up, and I had a ton of ancient weapons and stuff, but we did it. Amelia, thank you so much for contributing to the community challenge. Very much appreciated. And by the way, guys, we're going to be going for another 50 minutes on stream today. So thank you for hanging out with us. We did it. Trends to the library is. Train, train, train. Gerudo. Train, train, train. Oh, Peter. There's a doorway. Oh, my gosh. Why don't I know that? I should really learn the castle better. I've been here so many times. So many times. It's at the back left corner. Okay, this is the front back left corner. <clears throat> oh. 
<clears throat> I think that's it. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Just... That sounds fun. Yep. Did you mean to hit the wall? No. Oh. Okay. So this is where we're headed. Uh oh, he's shooting things at me. Electric arrows. <clears throat> ah, keys. <clears throat> Drop. See, we still have a bunch of weapon slots, which means we gotta try to fill them all. That's the, that's the trick. We gotta fill them all with good weapons. And ancient weapons are gonna be the best thing to fill it with because we wanna get all of the damage boost stuff. Oh yeah, you're right. I could use the metal blocks in this one. I forgot. I'm used to having to do this without the metal blocks. I think we'll just do it this way, though. Oh, there he goes. Now we'll just go on the other side of it so he tries to come toward us. Oh, no, you have to wait. For a while. Cool. Yep. We get to hang out and hang out with the chat again for a little bit. Yay. 28 more to go. Yay. We have fewer subscribers than I am years old left to go. Oh, I Let, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't understand <laughs> what you. Just I'm 100,000 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing to Wee's page. Super appreciate that. We're getting so close to 100,000. This is so cool. So what are you gonna do when you hit 100k? We're gonna play Wand of Gamelon. Uh, I like tonight. Yeah, tonight. Um. I think we're gonna have a dance party. A star, a star, shining in the well, we're gonna do a, a bunch of fun things to celebrate 100k. I didn't think through possibly being live when we hit it. I was really thinking it was probably gonna happen in the middle of the night tonight when I had to be asleep, like at three in the morning or something. Um, it's Pepper's gonna happen farm tonight. Pepper Farm remembers. <laughs> um, we owe a lot of our recent subscribers to YouTube Shorts being a thing. So thank you to YouTube Shorts. And maybe a lot of you guys found us on the YouTube Shorts. Uh, did you know the champion's abilities recharge faster in Hyrule Castle than any other place? I did not know that. Give 100,000 rupees to everyone. <laughs> I won't do 100,000 rupees, but we will go ahead and give everybody who is here for it yeah. 10,000 rupees. Whoa. I'm feeling generous. All right. That's gonna give everybody who's here like ability to like request songs during certain streams and all that stuff. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> I don't I don't think I've ever actually had a pie in the face. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> It's warm under these lights. <laughs> so it's like all melting off. That's good. I like graham crackers. So that's a really good crust. Yes. <laughs> wow. You know, this wasn't on my list of things I was going to do today. But I'm okay with it. Here we go. I'm okay with it. <laughs> you know, let me go ahead and put the pie pieces in the tin. You can have some if you want. <laughs> Air high five, because I'm covered in pie. High five. A real high five if you want the whipped cream. Okay. Ah. All right, go wash your hands. That's what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> it was a pie explosion. Good well, stuff. thank you for the pie. Thank you for the uh, <laughs> extra fun. <laughs> like a first birthday party. <sighs> KK Metal song? Ooh, I wish I knew that. I wish I knew KK Metal. But alas, I do not. Uh, the way you do so song commands is you'll type an exclamation point song and it'll buy a song from me. Okay, we're gonna save out here. We're gonna eat a triple meal. We're gonna equip 
all of the ancient armor, giving us a bonus for all of our weapons. And we do have a full inventory of shields, so that's really good. Although, Daruk's Depression is not ready to roll. Oh, let's do this, guys. Ganon time! Yes, I changed that armor. Come on. So zero durability means each weapon... Yeah, weapons, shields, and bows break after one hit. I'm sorry. But my power isn't strong enough. I can't... I can't hold him! This is it. Don't get dead now. Brace yourself! Yes! La la! We will not fail. Oh, look at all the divine beasts are doing their superpowers. Let's go, little guy. Daruk's depression is now ready to roll. A hundred years in the making. Hold on, princess. Our moment. Oh, it's Daruk's protection, not depression. I knew that. We just thought it sounded funnier. Oh, a little bit of frame issues. Because we got all four Divine Beasts, that takes a bunch of Ganon's HP out of the picture. Hey, Peter's here. Peter's here! Hey, everybody say hi to Peter. Look at that, Ganon's down half health. It's gonna help. I don't know if it's going to help enough, though. <laughs> okay, guys. Every weapon, we can only use it one time. So I got to make him count. Not here. Stop asking. There we go. <laughs> like he, he, like, quietly roared. <laughs> All right. That's one. Weapon to the face time. Oh, shoot, my shield. Oh, gosh. Come on, cannon. <laughs> Fail again. Ouch. It's all right. We can make those kind of mistakes. Laser me, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Ow. Or or don't laser me. That would be great too. Vivali's gale is now ready. There we go. Uh, he's <laughs> taking lots of damage. He is. This will do one. What? No! Get closer to him! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I forgot too! Oh no. No, 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 it's okay. Okay. <laughs> not okay. Well, it's not okay. <laughs> I forgot, I've got Vana Boris, too. I got two shields left. Oh, shoot. I forgot, that was his first phase. This one, you have to land things at the right times, otherwise it doesn't work. Can we Vana Boris him like this? I think you can. Let's find out. I got him. Please. 
that sword stunk. <laughs> Ooh, I think I can get another hit on it. That was okay. Some weapons, though. This is theoretically possible. <laughs> Don't know if it'll be possible this time, though. Oh, you can hurt him with bombs. So, yes, this is theoretically possible. Oh my goodness, this is stressful. Oh, I'm all out of Nathana Boris now. Come on, come on, Ganon. Uh oh. One shield left, guys. Where is he? It's okay. All right. Me, me, me getting hurt is actually one of the least problems. It's, uh, losing a shield is a bad problem. <laughs> Duruk's protection, you just saved my life. It just came back. I can't believe that. That was insane. D did you guys see that? I can't believe that happened. I miss with the shield dodge. And then Darut's protection. Shrang, shrang, shrang. I can't hit him with the flurry rushes for some reason. Gerudo, shrang, shrang, shrang. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so now the moment of truth. If the if the bow of light breaks, then Toaster. I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have to like get a whole bunch of bows and stuff before we can do this. <sighs> you okay? This has been a big night for you. This has been a big <laughs> night. This is like such a big night, guys. The timing of Daruk's protection was like a blessing, a hundred thousand subscriber blessing from Daruk. <laughs> <laughs> you can use ancient arrows. Well, that's good, but the only problem is I don't think I have enough bows. How many spots does he have you have to shoot? Like six? I don't I don't have six bows. This is so it. so Kestreen. I think you're right about that. The problem is with this mod, if it has a durability modifier at all, it might turn it to zero. So I, I don't know, even if it has infinity, it might still break. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hundred thousand subscribers, guys! Pie in the face! I still smell like whipped cream. We still have I still have graham, graham cracker. cracker crust all over myself. <laughs> I I'm excited to see the video playback of that. Okay. Ganon. Okay. Ganon was born out of a dark past. We're just gonna skip this cutscene because I don't want the game to crash. <laughs> This last part is easy, assuming the bow of light works. And I don't think we can save here. The game's having to load a bunch of shaders. Yeah, the Bow of Light has unlimited durability and unlimited arrows. We'll find out after I shoot one if this game is beatable like this. <laughs> May you be victorious! Whoa! Have you seen the end of this game? Alright, here we go! <gasps> I can shoot arrows! I can shoot two, I can shoot three! We're gonna beat it! 
Yes! <laughs> this was my burning question for the entire run. Like, we were actually talking about this this afternoon. And I was like, well, if I do this, this might happen. If this doesn't happen. I had a backup plan, but I didn't prep for it because yeah. it, I was like, we just need to try to fight Ganon right now. You guys, we got this. This is this is totally gonna happen. There's no question now. Because I can beat Dark Beast Ganon with my hands tied behind my back. I could probably beat him with my feet. You should try that sometime. It'll be like the new uh, the new challenge. Beat Dark Beast Ganon with your feet only. Be so stressful with limited bows. You gotta hit it perfectly without mm -hmm. fail. Yeah. yeah, I know. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like. I just finished running like a giant marathon or something. Oh no! My horse! so slow it's way easier. Star, a star, <laughs> the last stream for this was my first vid for the channel so I have a place in my heart for this challenge. Oh awesome! We, oh. we we beat the game with zero durability. This is insane. It's so fitting. I couldn't have timed that. Like I just couldn't. And and the Daruk's protection. It was like providence. Holy providence. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you made it this far, type Super Nachos in the comments so I can give you a thumbs up and a heart from the channel. And uh, if you haven't already, remember, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button as well. Thank you again so much for watching. Check out some of the other stuff that we do around here in the basement, and we'll see you next time in the basement.